Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Infinity Countdown Prime, issue number one shot. Get rid of the one. We don't need that, Marvel. We don't need it. It's a one shot, and it's called Prime, for crying out loud. So, uh, anyway, we got this here issue. <laughs> and uh, I'm actually trying to look past all the stuff in the back. In the back, you're going to find this big, long statement about all of the Infinity Gems, excuse me, Infinity Stones. Why are they calling them stones all of a sudden? Anyway, so first you had Infinity Countdown, Adam Warlock. Now you got this one, Prime. And uh, uh, Infinity Countdown, there's going to be five issues, and they're all going to be monthly. So after that, you're going to have, uh, what do you call it, a, a Captain Marvel issue, which is going to wind up killing me, isn't it? It's going to kill me, because I know that she got the... The Infinity Gem, the the which one was it? The Reality Gem over in her book, I I can't read it. I can't read it. it. It's it's for me. It's unreadable. I can't stand reading that comic book. So oh well, she got the gem. Good to know. I don't actually even care how at this point. Uh, we're gonna have Daredevil issue one. I, I'm really impressed in seeing how Daredevil is gonna show up. We got Dark Hawk. There's gonna be four issues of Dark Hawk. That's not too shabby. That's not too shabby. In June, we'll have two issues of that coming out. And then um, after that, we got uh, this. See, this kills me. We got Champions 1 and 2, but we've also got Black Widow. Come on, man. Unless this is Yelena Belova, um, why exactly are they telling us that Natalia Romanova is coming back? That's not cool, man. Like, the comic books always do that. If you're going to bring somebody back, make it be a surprise, okay? I. I didn't want to know months in advance. Oh, don't worry, guys. Uh, Incredible Hulk's going to be coming back in, in the No Surrender issue. I don't want to know that. I want it to be a shock. All right? I want it to be like, oh, would you look at this? But no, no, no. Anyway, okay, enough of that. Let's just talk about this comic. So what we have is Wolverine. And yes, the actual proper Wolverine. And he's chilling out in the woods. And some wolf comes by. He's like, man, you don't want a piece of me. Get out of here. You don't want a piece of these guys either. So these Ultron robots show up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're they're, they're on Earth. They're, they're actually a thing on Earth again. So anyway, um, I was expecting they weren't going to be a big deal after Secret Empire. But apparently they totally are. So they show up and they go after Wolverine. But this is Wolverine proper, man. And he lays waste to these guys. At one point, they put him in a bubble. But don't forget, he's got the space gem. So he's like, I'm the best there is at what I do. And what I do is teleport. And he's just like, yeah, I love Bam Thing. It's just great reference. Fantastic, perfect, spot on, brother, spot on. So um, you, you see him, and he, he goes and he has a conversation with Loki. Loki goes and, like, cuts his cheek a little bit. He's like, I just had to make sure it was you. So Wolverine decides to make sure it's Loki, and he puts his claws right through his face. No, I'm serious. Like, literally up and through his face, like, through uh, his left eyeball. He's just like, ah, okay, okay. So this is really weird. I know you're thinking this guy should die. Like he wouldn't be able to cut through Thor's skin very easily. There was actually Wolverine versus Thor and he like his some really tough blows and he barely scratched freaking Thor. All right. Like Thor was just like, yeah, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. I'm fine. Um, but Thor is an actual Asgardian God. He's, he's, you know, half, half, half a uh, mother of, uh, what do you call it? Son of Jove. Anyway, that's not what you're here for. So Loki does wind up getting jacked up, but he's also a shapeshifter. So I'm assuming that his shapeshifting is kind of like a willful healing factor. That's the way I'm looking at it. Anyway, so he gets jacked up beyond all, like he's Fubar. He's Fubar. And uh, then we go on to seeing Turk. Yeah, Turk from Daredevil. So that explains how Daredevil is going to show up in this later on. Turk shows up and he's got one of the gems with him somehow. That's just great. So he's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, uh, I'm, just I'm winning money. So um, what do you call it? I guess he's got the mind gem at some point. He's able to cheat at cards and whatnot. So a couple more things happen. You see uh, the different realities because Captain Marvel has the reality gem and the different versions of Captain Marvel and different realities all have the time gem also. So Monica Rambeau is Captain Marvel again in another universe. And that's cool. I like seeing that. Uh, Clark, the Super Scroll, he's got a gem. Adam Warlock wakes up. It's when he breaks through the pyramids and all these visitors are there. And he's like, I'm back. Ah! And these guys are like, ah! And they're all trying to run away like little girls and whatnot. And he's like, you, boy, what year is it? He turns, as he's running, he's like, N uh, 2018. <laughs> he just keeps going. <laughs> like he, actually, he actually says the date as he's running away. Come on, man. 
<laughs> just come on. Anyway, they go and they start talking about Thanos, and he's coming from people, and then they actually show the Magus. The Magus. The Magus. Uh, Adam Warlock's evil twin. I'll give you a little sneak peek of that there, because they didn't give that in the, uh, the preview issues. Oh, by the way, thank you, Marvel, for getting rid of those stupid bar thing so I, I couldn't even show the, the the pictures up here anyway so yeah you see the magic's back he's actually hanging out on ego which i think is fantastic he doesn't have the body anymore like in ultimates 2 what happened so um and he's sitting there with the contemplator he's actually like you know alas poor york i knew him well from hamlet he's sitting there with uh he cut off the contemplator's head and <laughs> they all came back all of the rest of the garden uh gardens galaxy the um the Guardians of the Universe, the Elders, the Elders of the Universe, Guardians of the Universe are in Green Lantern. The Elders of the Universe came back in the Contest of Champions. So, yes, they are all back, all of them. Anyway, so the Contemplator, he's pretty much dead now. And, um, uh, Madge is like, yeah, it's right, I got a gem, punk, what you gonna do about it? And all of a sudden, somebody shows up behind him, the Contemplator made sure that Ultron actual Ultron saw him so he just puts his hand right through sorry this is a gorgeous pick this is a gorgeous pick oh my god the art on this absolutely superb uh Diodato Diodato just now looking here Jerry Duggan did the uh the writing and uh Diodato did the uh um everything else the the, the art fantastic anyway he just completely lays waste and I guess kills the Magus you know why this makes me happy Nobody likes the Magus. I mean, like the, it's like, you know, okay, cool. He was cool the first time he came around. And he was pretty interesting when he showed up for, what was it, uh, Infinity War? Like, okay, cool. But we didn't need this. Like, we, we, we don't need the Magus here. So, okay, the Magus is back, and now we've killed him. Okay, perfect. I like Hank Payne better than ever. Anyway, he goes and grabs the Soul Gem, because that's what the Magus had. He goes and grabs the Soul Gem. Well, what happens is, now Hank Pym's soul is trapped in the uh, Soul Gem with Gamora. Guys, this is fantastic book. Nice, thick, heavy, hefty book. Look at that. Look at that. That's much bigger than your average comic book right there. Big, thick, hefty book. And just so much happens in here. And it's gorgeous. So, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, like I said, there's a there's this thing in the background where they just go around. They just start talking about all the different things that happened in the, uh, you know, with the other Infinity Gems, how they came to be, it, not how they came to be, but, you know, you, you get the gist, just a, a history of them. So this is absolutely fantastic. This is a gorgeous book. I'm going to give this comic book an A. I mean, they tell a great story. They also tell where everything is. They tell you exactly where you're supposed to be at. This feels like a free comic book day uh, comic book, but I totally feel justified in paying for it because it's there's just so much substance here. And in the world of just so just we're being bombarded with events. Damnation came out this month for crying out loud. Tarnation. With an uh, an event, you know, all these different events uh, coming out, being out, and everything, seeing that they've actually got a story where they they fill you in, and if you don't know where you at, it's because you fell asleep at some point. All right, in which case that would mean the comic is boring, so nobody falls asleep during this. Look, the idea is that this is a really good comic. It's it's full with story, great art. You know exactly where you are when you're reading this. All right, guys, I'm just gonna leave it at that. I can't wait until the actual issues come out, you know, is issue one, two, three, and four, uh, and so forth of Infinity. And yeah, I'm going to be grabbing everything, including all the little side quests. And there's not a lot. There's not a whole lot to it. You know, 10 books or so, you got everything. That's that's a good event. That's a good event. All right, guys. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.